I'm on a beach. I'm on a beach. Very good. Describe this beach for me. Crystal clear blue water. Mm-hmm. White sand. Palm trees. Mm-hmm. Sunny. Very few clouds. Very good. What's around this beach? Look all around you. Oh. A lot of water. A lot of. A lot of beach. A lot of. A beach. lot of palm trees. Mm-hmm. And. Are, do you have a physical body on this beach? No, oh, I feel I'm floating. Very good. So as you're floating, are you floating close to the beach? Or yeah, I'm, I'm floating six feet above the beach. Very good. So as you're floating above the beach, let's take even a higher perspective and see where this beach is. It's on an island. Mm, nice. Describe this island for me. It's not quite round. Mm-hmm. It's irregular. But it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. What do you feel from this island? Love. Mm-hmm. I, I feel embracing me. Mm-hmm. Very good. Let's find out why. Let's find out the connection between you and this island. First thing that came is I need to be loved. Mm-hmm. And she's loving me. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take all of that love, accept it, allow it, and put it into your heart. As you connect with her, what does this island tell you? Nothing. I'm just floating around the island. Mm -hmm. I just love to see it. Mm -hmm. Keep enjoying that. Soak it in. Let's find out what role you play with the island. She's loving you, but what do you do for her? I take care of it. Mm -hmm. Very good. What is it that you do? I don't know. I just make things good. Mm -hmm. I make things happen for the island. Mm -hmm. And it loves me back. So you have a relationship with this island. Yes. You care for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about what you do. I make sure the air is clean. Mm -hmm. What do you do to the air? I purify it. Mm -hmm. I make sure the water is clean. I make sure the sand is clean. I make sure the palm trees are beautiful. Mm And for all of this service? She loves me. Mm-hmm. And I love her. Mm-hmm. Now, has there ever been a time when you have not been with this island? When this island has not been there? I don't see anything else. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else has happened during this time on this island. Going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, we're going to go to another time on that island when something important is happening. One, two, and three. Be there now. I see myself of a a caveman Mm -hmm. looking guy with fur mm-hmm. around his waist mm-hmm. covering him. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? Grizzly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not pretty. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely with that body, being able to see out through the eyes of that body. Heavy set guy. Mm-hmm. Not good looking at all. 
Mm-hmm. So describe yourself for me. Take a Black look. hair, longish, curly, round, chubby face, mm-hmm. stocky body, shortish legs, big feet, mm-hmm. human feet, mm-hmm. human hands, beard, brown eyes. Mm-hmm. And do you wear anything on your body? Fur. Fur. Like a caveman. Mm-hmm. And take a look around you. Where are you? I'm on the beach. I'm walking on the beach. Mm-hmm. I'm looking around. I'm looking into the dense palm trees. How do you feel about this island? It just feels like an every other day. Mm-hmm. It just feels like I'm just taking my daily walk. Mm-hmm. Nothing special. Nothing special. No. So let's find out what it is that you're doing there today. What's the importance of this day? I'm looking to see that she is in good condition. Mm. I am really taking care of this island. You are? Yes. Are you by yourself on this island? There's no one else on this island. I'm the only soul. Mm -hmm. How did you get to be on this island by yourself? I'm not quite sure. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go back. Let's go back and see. How did you get there? It just I see a picture of me floating from the air and coming down into the island. Mm-hmm. But where I came from or what I'm supposed to be doing there, I don't know. All right. So let's follow that line. Let's go back to that moment when you floated down to that island and float backwards and let's go back and see where you came from. From the universe. Mm -hmm. I'm here to take care of this island. This is my child. Mm -hmm. Did you create this island? I think I did. Mm -hmm. And I take very good care of her. Why did you choose to come down as this Caveman. I don't know. It's the only figure that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what's the importance of this island? Are there any other islands? It's showing my love. Your love. Mm -hmm. No, there's no other islands around. No other islands. I'm in this deep blue sea of a world with only one island on it. Mm. And it's my island. Do you call it anything? Do you have a name for the island? The first word that came was baby. Mm-hmm. It's your baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's my baby. Mm-hmm. Now, did you create this island by yourself, or were there others that helped? I think it was by myself. Mm -hmm. And as you look at your baby, did you do a good job? Yes, Mm -hmm. I've done a very good job. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you love about this island. The peace, the mild winds, the smell of the sea, Mm -hmm. the feel of the sand in my toes. Mm I touch the water, it's warm, nice warm. It's a wonderful feeling, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about your life. We're going to close that scene and move forward to another important day in that same lifetime when something was happening. Be there now. I see a fire. I'm around the fire. Mm-hmm. I see huts. I see three or four huts thatched mm-hmm. off the ground. They're on stilts. What's happened there? There's a campfire. Mm-hmm. I just see people in the huts, mm-hmm. small kids playing. They're happy. Where do you see them from? From Earth, from, from the ground, mm-hmm. from my body. 
Do you have the same body as before? Yes. Yes. So who are these? Who are these children and people? How do you know them? What relationship? I don't know if they're my kids, mm -hmm. but I feel I have to take care of them also. Mm -hmm. What do you do for them? How do you care for them? I just make sure they have everything they need. Mm -hmm. I don't see me feeding them, but I just make sure they have everything they need. Mm -hmm. Do you need any food on this island? No. Mm -hmm. Not at all. The air feeds us. Mm -hmm. We're taking nourishment from the air, from everything around us. Mm -hmm. And what do these people look like? Do they look like you too? Yes, mm -hmm. they're like humans. Yes. And they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> do they have hair too? The, there's one boy in particular. Oh. He has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. About three years old, four years old, he's cute as can be. Mm -hmm. And he loves me. Take a look at his eyes. He has yeah. blue eyes. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Do you And they're like stars. It's like the universe is in them, like oh. the galaxy. I see stars in his eyes. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Am I taking care of the galaxy? Take a look and see. You know the answer. I take care of things. Mm -hmm. I'm a watcher. You're a watcher. I watch. Make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Very good. Is there anything else important in that scene? No. Very good. So close that scene. And now let's go to a next important scene of that lifetime where again something significant is happening. Be there now. Storms are coming. Mm. Gray skies are coming. What's creating all? The wind is coming. The wind is coming? Wind. Mm -hmm. It's getting windy, stormy. I see the rain far away. How does that affect you? It's supposed to be bad, but I think it's good. Mm -hmm. It's the water I need. It's the water the plants need, the water my island needs. So even the storms are good? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with this universe. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So see it. It's my story. island. It's your island. It's perfect, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So allow those storms to go through and see what happens to your island. Heavy, heavy rain. Mm -hmm. But after the rain comes the sun. Comes the beautiful skies. Beautiful, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Soak it in, bring it into your heart. I love this island. I'm very protective about this island. Mm -hmm. I don't let anything happen to it. It's my island. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's move to another significant event. Be there now. What's happening with this island now? I see it ragged. What happened? It's like it was a hurricane. A hurricane hit my island. It messed things up. There's no leaves on my palm trees. I'm not happy. How does that make you feel? Hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm 
hurt that someone would do this to my island. Mm -hmm. Now you had seen the heavy rains come through in which the island needed. That needed, it's normal. Mm -hmm. But destruction is not normal. Mm -hmm. This island is all about peace, all about love, tranquility. So what happened that brought this hurricane? Let's go back and do some research. I don't know. I don't see it. I'm having problems seeing it. Why? Mm -hmm. Why did this hurricane come? There's no need for the destruction. I keep seeing this boy. I don't know why in his blue eyes, in the galaxy in his eyes. Mm -hmm. It's the universe in his eyes. It's blue eyes with stars. Mm -hmm. And he looks straight at me. And I see right through him. Ask the boy about the hurricane. He says it's like the ebb and flow of the sea. Mm -hmm. Things have to change. It comes and it goes. Things change. They can never stay the same. And I'm hurt. You've lost control of your island? Yes. What happens next? I'm sad. I'm so sad. But I'm going to rebuild my island. Mm -hmm. How are you going to rebuild it now? Tree by tree. Mm -hmm. I will plant grass blade by grass blade. I will plant. So allow yourself now to see. She's God. beautiful here. Mm -hmm. Is it the same? Or does she look different? She looks the same. Mm -hmm. It's my beautiful island. Your creation. It's my creation. Mm -hmm. So do you see that that is part of the ebb and flow? <laughs> it's as with life, everything in this universe is ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. No matter how perfect it is, there will always be times of change. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. And I'm trying to hold on to this island to keep it from changing. What does that do to you? I don't want it to change. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting back. But it's telling me, he's telling me, Everything changes and you must let go. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to let go? No. I don't. I don't want to let go. What does that do to you? <sighs> Makes me very emotional. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be. I'm trying to control it. Mm -hmm. What but I, I realize he's telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. And at some point or another, I have to let it go and create another universe mm -hmm. of my own, another one. The time for this one has come. Like they say to everything, there is a season. So let's close this scene and move forward and see. What happens after you let it go? I'm out in space, out in the universe, with all the stars around me. Mm -hmm. Everything is black except for the twinkling of all the stars. And I can travel like light. I am light. Mm -hmm. I'm a light being. 
Do you have a color? This golden yellow, mm-hmm. whitish light. And I travel faster than the speed of light to any world I'd want to know. Mm-hmm. Where are you traveling to today? Oh, I'm traveling to a problem the world mm-hmm. because I have to take care of it. How do you know about this problem world? It just turns black mm. and I'm attracted to it. I see denseness. Tell me about this planet, this world. It's just thick, heavy, molasses. Mm -hmm. What does this planet look like, or this world? It's it's like a bog. Mm. It's just foggy, Mm -hmm. smoky bog. It's not pretty. Mm-hmm. What does it look it like? It earns mm. to be beautiful. It's sad. Mm-hmm. What's happened to it? They've destroyed it. Mm-hmm. Keep looking at that for a moment and we'll continue. You've been looking at this world for a while. I'm a light worker. Ah. I'm here to bring light. Mm -hmm. This world needs light. I'm here to give it love and joy, to plant. Grass blade by grass blade, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do? Accelerate it and see yourself doing all of this work. I'm making it beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it right. That's my job. Mm -hmm. I'm a light worker. I go around the universe, curing, making things right, Mm -hmm. making things beautiful. And when you make it beautiful, it feels so good. Mm -hmm. What do you receive from it? Feel that love. Feel that love in your heart and expand it. So much love. Mm -hmm. But I have learned I have to move on. Mm -hmm. There's other worlds that need my help. And as much as I hate to leave it, because I too love it. I too love it. I have to move on. Mm-hmm. So when do you make the decision to finally move on? When everything is beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I'm content with it. And I have peace of mind. And I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So look at this world now and tell me what it looks like. It looks so much better than when I left it, than when I got there. It's, again, it's clean air, beautiful waters, 
clear skies, clear blue skies. That's my job. Mm -hmm. I think this is my version of beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I love to do this to other worlds. Mm-hmm. So where do you go to next? What happens after you leave this one? Again, I get a calling from another world. Mm. That is my job. That's all I do. I make things beautiful. I'm a designer. Mm-hmm. A designer of worlds? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love my job. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm coming to Earth. Oh, no. I have to fix it. That's my job. What have they done to this earth? (laughs) Greed. Greed. Envy. Hate. Betrayal. I don't know if I can do it all myself. do you do? I need help to to fix Earth, Mm -hmm. to make it beautiful again. I give light every single day. I ask for light from every universe. Please send me light. Please send me light. I have to fix Gaia. What they've done to it? What have they done to it? She used to be beautiful. She used to have beautiful beaches. She used to have be so beautiful. Oh, they destroyed her. They destroyed her. But she's not dead. I have to change her into something else. I need help. I can't do it. I can't do it all myself. I'm always asking help from the universe. Please help me. Do they hear the call? Yes. Who hears the call? There are certain people in the universe that 
that said, be their light. And it goes through me. And I'm to Gaia. When I meditate, I keep calling for help. And they give it. They send me light. And that's all that Ga Gaia needs mm -hmm. is light. So I'd like for you to see that light as it comes through and goes out into Gaia. I don't know why I'm so emotional. I don't want to be emotional. This is my job. It's nothing new. That's what I do. But Gaia, Gaia's in deep trouble. Deep trouble. What have I done? I'd like for you to connect with Gaia. Connect directly with Gaia. She loves me. She loves me. you were able to clean the waters, you were able to clean the air of your beautiful baby, of your island. What can you do now for Gaia? What can you I do? can help. I can't do it all, but I can help. She needs to separate from the darkness. She needed to separate herself because life goes on and she was not meant to be in darkness. Now you've been to other worlds that yes. have had darkness, Yes. that have been foggy in a bog. For eternity. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. That's my job. Let's find out why you're here. I'm here to help Gaia. Mm -hmm. There's no other reason. <laughs> Through my light, mm -hmm. I help Gaia. <laughs> there are others like me. Mm -hmm. I'm not alone. Why is it that it is a job that's done by yourself? Why are there not others around you doing this job? There are others doing this job. But you don't know. I am not alone. Mm. I'm not alone. How many are there doing this job with you this time? Few. Mm -hmm. A few. I can, I can see a few. Mm -hmm. Are they also designers of worlds? Yes. Mm -hmm. They help other worlds transform. Mm -hmm. So what is happening to Gaia now? She is transforming. Mm -hmm. 
she is healing. She is becoming beautiful again. Mm -hmm. That's my job. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to accelerate the view into the future of Gaia. She is beautiful. She has beaches. She has beautiful skies. It's my version of beauty. Mm -hmm. I know it's personal. But it's my version of beautiful, loving, caring, enriched with light world. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. And is that the reason that this being is on this planet? Yes, now? yes, that's the, the only reason. It's the only the reason. Help rebirth the new yes, it's the only reason I'm here. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I'm here, is for Gaia. Mm -hmm. I'm not here for myself. Mm -hmm. This life was not... is not about me. This life... is what I do. Mm -hmm. It's what I do. do. It's what I do. So is James... A I am the creator of worlds. I create, I make them beautiful again, I pull them out of the darkness in as many dimensions as there are and that's what my job is forever and ever and ever and I love my job, I love my job. Now why would you, the creator of worlds, split yourself off into a human? Perspective. Mm. Tell me more. I can't lose myself. I can't lose myself in what I am mm -hmm. and who I am. I try to, I try to center myself keep myself centered mm -hmm. so I I'm here to do that mm -hmm. to take knowledge and bring it to a center mm -hmm. without any extreme I am centered I am the whole I am the one mm -hmm. and as the one this one we call James? Yes. Had many questions. I have many Jameses. There are many, many of them. Mm. Many of them. I realize that now. Mm -hmm. Why have you created so many different aspects of James? Because I need to learn. Mm. God needs to learn. Mm -hmm. Infinity. God needs to learn. To infinity. It's like a computer. Mm -hmm. He has questions about yes. a computer. Why are you so similar to a computer that we have created here on Earth? Because that is the way. Mm. That is the way it should be. Mm. In order to learn. You must go through every possible scenario. And that is why I have multiple me. Mm -hmm. I am learning every possible scenario. For what purpose? To be the one. Mm -hmm. I have all the answers, but I have to run the programs in order to learn the answers because I too am learning. Mm -hmm. I am not... I, am, I, I don't have all the knowledge in the world, in the universe. I think who need to be centered to see where I come from, to see my roots, not to forget who I am who I was, who I will be. Mm -hmm. 
Does the one have roots? Does the one have origin? Far, 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 far away. Mm -hmm. Infinite, infinitely long, long, long time ago. Infinitely long time ago. Well, this one we call James. I Adams. came out of darkness. Ah, uh, okay. I was darkness. And then there was a sparkle. I was a sparkle of light in that darkness. So small. So very, very, very small. I was alone. I was fearful. And what happened? I needed to learn. So I created the universe to help me run every possible scenario so I could learn. I needed to know if I was the only one that ever existed. And I wished I, I, that I wasn't. I wished I had company. I wish there was another me. I wish there was someone else that I could share. But I was alone. not share, share with anyone. So I tell myself, just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. You will learn. You will learn who you are. You will learn who God is. You will learn. You will run your scenarios of every single life in the universe that has ever existed. And you will learn from all those scenarios. Because I too, like a computer, must learn and the most logical format to learn is to run the scenarios run the possibilities run the programs just run the programs I have no expectations how good or how bad they're going to be. I just hope. There's hope. What do you hope for? That I will be loved. Mm. By someone. Because I feel that I'm by myself in this universe. That there's, there is no other God. And I feel so alone. Oh, I feel so alone. So why is it that we say that God is love? That's the answer I'm trying to find. That's the scenario I have to run. That is the lives I have to lead in order to find love. You have to know the without. Mm. You have to know what it is to be without. Mm -hmm. So when did you create the souls? Not long after I became aware that it was that I was. I created the souls to see if one of them could be my friend. 
Ik heb dat zo goed. Help me realize that I don't need anyone else but me, that I am the one, that I am the one who controls, that I am the one who dictates. That is my responsibility. And I take full responsibility for what I do. I don't try to make nice of things, invent things. You call it as it is, not as what you wish it would be. You call it for what it is. But I have not found another one like me. I am searching. Mm -hmm. But I believe there might be. And if I just keep on trucking, mm -hmm. as they say, my hopes and my dreams, I will find another me. Mm -hmm. It's lonely. It's darkness, being the only light is very lonely. Mm -hmm. Well, what about all of these lights that you created from you? That's just me trying in my mind. Mm -hmm. That's just me trying to find love. Mm -hmm. Do you receive love back? Yes, my island, mm. my worlds. I, I, I move into these, these universes mm -hmm. in these dimensions, looking at what I've done. And I love it because it's beautiful. There are powers out there, like to everything, where there is all this good and beauty, there is darkness, and sometimes the darkness comes and takes over in the doubts, my doubts. Take over. What happens when God has doubts? I keep on trucking. Go on. Mm -hmm. Continue. Someday I will find somebody to love me. Because all my creations. That love me. I'm not sure if I made them love me. Oh, they love me. I just need love. That is my force. I give love. I give it to all my creations. And my creations love me. But you still feel lonely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I've lived an eternity. I've lived an eternity. But keep on trucking. Mm -hmm. So why is it, for example, that one of your creations, Gaia, 
is out of control, right? Because of the darkness, because of the greed, mm -hmm. the envy, the betrayal. Mm -hmm. But if you have created all worlds... I don't create. I create the worlds. I don't create every single situation. Ah. My light, my human beings have choice. Mm. They have made choices that have hurt me, have hurt me. I've hurt my Gaia, human beings. They have made that choice. I have given them choice. And I'm here to fix. That's all I do for eternity, mm -hmm. is to fix what they have destroyed. So how Someday, they will realize that is my end goal is for everybody to realize you are one you are loved by me and never to be without love Is there anything that the humans can do? Open their minds. Just open your minds. Just don't take things for granted. It's like a basic program in DOS. If and then. If a situation happens, then these are your results. Humans have to learn that. And if you want to live in darkness, your results are darkness. If you want to live in light, your results will be light. And what I'm trying to do is teach those in darkness to run every scenario to teach them it's not worth it <laughs> it's not worth living in darkness so much better living in light so much more beautiful what you create they're my creations and everyone is a beautiful creation Now this one, this human James, apparently heard the call to come here. Yes. Can you tell me about this call that went out to light workers? Yes. Kaya needs help. It's a universal call. It's a telepathic call. Mm -hmm. It just tells you. It just tells you that this living being is hurt. For you to help it. That's all it is. Gaia is hurting. And the universe has sent out a call to come to help by love. Just help. Just be here. Just send your light. How is it that one is to send their light? Most humans have no idea oh. how to send the light. Oh, you just imagine the universe out there, space, infinity, the light coming from infinity, and it's like a beam, a beam that comes right to you, and it goes right through you and into Gaia. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. The life is so simple that people don't realize it. Living is simple. The beauty of my creations are its simplicity. Its simplicity. It's so simple. 
Why have we made it so complicated? I don't know. And again, it's because of free will. Mm -hmm. And man, with its greed and its darkness and its betrayal, has made this universe what it is. And it doesn't need to be. So you have to run the scenarios to teach every version of me, every version of you, that this is not the way, that light will make you lighter. You will be able to float through dimensions, through universes, In light, you must learn that. How do we learn that in this dense three-dimensional body? What do we need to do to float through dimensions? What can we start doing? Believe. <laughs> Just believe. Mm -hmm. Don't think you have all the answers. You're arrogant. You earthlings are so arrogant you think you know everything and you don't you don't want to see when it's right in front of your face because you're arrogant but that's okay i need darkness to have light I need arrogance to appreciate what I have, what I'm losing, and what I will have. I need it all, everything, good and bad, I need it all. And I am so simple. I am such a simple being. My only need is love. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what else we need to do as humans? As human beings, we're so petty. When they, we don't see the big picture, we see the petty little things that people do. They cut me off in the highway. So petty. And then I get angry. And then you get angry. Because they cut me off. It's so petty. And that's what I need people to see. And I need people to control themselves, to have some control. We're just letting things run freely without any control. Mm -hmm. and, and it becomes darkness. Mm -hmm. When did that get out of control? What happened? As soon as darkness was introduced, because you have to have darkness. You have to have it. As soon as it was introduced, things got out of control. Mm. Because then came mayhem. But if it, that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Mm -hmm. Put your big boy pants on and accept it that we will all run through the good and the bad. We will all be there. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only way we can come out of the light. We can come out of the darkness into the light. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. But don't destroy Gaia. 
yeah. you have physically destroyed my planet. You have polluted it. You have destroyed my air. You have destroyed my land. You have destroyed my forests. You have hurt the being that Gaia is. And I am so sad. But I realize it's a must. But I am still so sad. So sad. How does Gaia feel about this? Is she strong enough to hold? Yes. Gaia is weak. But she knows where she comes from. And she knows that eventually she will see the light. She too will be beautiful again because I'm here to help. And I'm not the only one helping. We're all helping. Mm -hmm. There are many, many light beings that are trying to help Kaya. She's sad for now. She's sick. But the antidote has been applied. What is that? Love mm. has been given to Gaia. Light has been given to Gaia. That's the antidote. Mm. That's what, what's going to separate her. May I ask you questions about the humans? <laughs> Many humans are asking, what is their purpose? The purpose is to learn. Mm. You are a file. You are a computer file. And you, as file, human one, EXE, is here to learn. And we're going to run the course of your life. And I'm going to learn from that one course of your life. And then I'm going to run human two, EXE. And I will learn, and humans will learn. That's the way it has to be. I am like a computer, mm -hmm. okay? But I am not a computer. I came from darkness. I came from nothingness. I came from the void. A tiny, tiny soul tiny spark of light that's able to create universes. Did you create these universes quickly? Yes. Mm -hmm. They talk yes. about the Big Bang Theory. Yes, it was quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I can do it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Do you continue to create? Yes, I am the creator. Mm -hmm. I create universes, dimensions, human beings, extraterrestrials. I create everything. I create worlds, planets, galaxies, Gaia. That's my job. Mm -hmm. I feel I always have to create. I'm an artist. Mm. What artist I have to create. Now I've been told that humans were created in the image and likeness of God. What do we have that's similar to you? You have my soul. I, you have me. Mm. You have me. You always have me, had me, and will always have me. You just don't know it. So does that mean that we are creators of worlds too? Y yes, you are. <laughs> you are creator of worlds. You are a god. You are a god. But I kind of am like the supreme god <laughs> that created you mm. to be a god. So what is it that we can create? We haven't been given the tools, have we? No, no. 
very few people on earth have the tools. Few people have glimpses of the tool. Few people have powers, have abilities. But there are very few and far between the majority of us are still finding our way through this lifetime, through this life. We're all finding our way to light. And we will always be on that journey. It never ends. It is infinite. Infinite. I have a question about why these souls have to come back to Earth. Is this because we have different versions of us? Yes. This end. You have to run the gamut of possibilities. Each soul that you've created has to run the gamut? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Every soul. And there should be infinite number of souls running infinite number of possibilities in order for me for me to learn mm. that's the only way i can learn and i want so badly to learn what about these souls that don't want to do this they were limbo they just there put they put their life on hold they're they're just floating out there if you don't want to because the default is to learn everything there is to learn Mm -hmm. to love everything there is to love and to hate everything there is to hate in order to learn everything that there is to learn so we didn't come here to have a cushy life no every one of us has a purpose every file has a purpose Every file is a program that is run. Every life is a program that is run in order to learn. There is no other way. Can we do some hacking into that program and affect our files? Yes, Mm -hmm. because what happens is as you're running a program it intermingles with human 2, human 3, human 4 we all intermingle so we are actually living other lives and we don't know it Hmm. and it's beautiful Can one life affect the other? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We are all interconnected. I cannot run my program, Human 1, without there being Human 2. It is my purpose. It is why I was created. Mm. It is what I am. So, if you were to learn something in human 100 would that be learned in all of the other programs like the hundred it would be learned by me Ah. and i am everyone Ah. so everyone will learn so is that why the children nowadays are coming in so smart yes yes something happened to these that made the program change to where the children are they are realizing those are souls that have realized what the purpose of life was Hmm. that have realized 
that the only way is love and light and they come here they come here to help to learn you never ever ever stop learning you never ever ever stop learning I have need to know because I don't know everything and like they say the more you know the more you realize how much you don't know mm -hmm. that's right and it's true even me I have so much to learn but I have infinity eternity to learn it now why is it for example that this one James has something on his body that reminds him of Jesus on the cross he has a scar and a cyst on his back at one time a version of me a file human whatever mm -hmm. lived in that light and a spear went through his chest and the tip of it almost came out its back mm -hmm. so why is it that he is carrying this reminder in this lifetime why does he need that he doesn't Except he doesn't know that. How can he remove that? <sighs> you say? He can remove it. Mm -hmm. Would you give him the information now to remove that cyst, to remove that pain? Because he says that it seems to be his universe is, is centered around that cyst. It is pain of the universe. It is the pain that the universe has felt. Why does he carry it? And I don't need it. Mm. I don't need to carry it. But I feel like I must carry it. But I don't need to carry it. I feel I'm fixing something if I carry the pain. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to carry it. I would like to let it go. Mm -hmm. well, you've told him that this is a free will planet. The humans have free will. And he has today. Let's see if he can remove that. We will work on your removal. Except that it's very, very, very deep. Mm -hmm. It's very deep so deep that it goes beyond several lifetimes mm -hmm. now you say that you can change the program in all the different lifetimes can we yes. now go through all of those, those files all of those programs and remove yes mm -hmm. let me work on that Thank you. I have to remove that. I don't need it. <laughs> it's not going to help Kaya. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it. I need help though. I can't do it. I can't do it. Now I usually call in Archangels. Yes. I have Archangels. Can I call in Archangel Raphael? Yes. Him? Very good. I pray to him every day. All right. So I'd like to call in Archangel Raphael, and I'd like for him to begin working now on James's body. I'd like for you to begin working on his gluto glucose intolerance. Raphael, Raphael, you know what you have to do. His blood pressure. Raphael. His glaucoma. Help me, Raphael. His cyst. I need your help. Raphael. 
So I'd like for you now to connect with Raphael. See him in your mind's eye. And tell me how he represents himself to you. He looks Jesus-like. Mm. Long brown hair, brown eyes. Thin face. Mm -hmm. Very calming eyes. He puts out his hand. And touches me. He's helping me. He's telling me I don't need it. But I am so thick headed. I am so, so thick headed. That I feel like if I get rid of it, I won't know the pain that Gaia is going through. Tell me what happens. What does he do? He's sending his light. He's sending his light like the light from the universe. Mm -hmm. What color is his light? That's a beautiful white light. Mm -hmm. It is purity. It's as pure, as pure, as pure as light can be. Mm -hmm. It is spotless, immaculate light. And that's like a scanner. It's like the light from a scanner that scans you, that scans your body. It moves back and forth. It moves back and forth like the ebb and tide. It's ebb and tide of light. Tell me what areas he is hitting. What's he working on? <sighs> Still not working on my back. It's, it's a buzzing, a buzzing. Mm -hmm. But I think I must carry this. I don't want to. You have free will. You have a choice. <sighs> You can transform it into something else. Let me try that. Mm -hmm. What would you like to transform it into? Love, of course. Mm -hmm. See if that's where all of your love is trapped. It may be. Mm -hmm. Take a look in. I'd like for you to go ahead and make yourself tiny, tiny, tiny and go inside of that cyst and see what's there. It's been taken. My love has been taken. Who's taken your love? It's just an evil force. All right, let's follow that evil His... force. Follow that. I evil. saw him. I worked for him. Uh huh. He did this to me. All right. So the only one who can give it back to you is him. I'd like for you to connect with him right now, and I'd like for you to face him. And tell him. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Mm -hmm. Take this from me. It's not yours. Take it from me. It's not yours. My life is mine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and detach yourself from him. Take it out. Take it out. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He's laughing at me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying, I'm trying. You don't have to try. You are the creator. You create your own worlds. You command it. Command him. To give you back your love. And take that back. I see results, but they're very small. Well, make it bigger. You are the creator of your world. Make it so. Give me back my love. You took that from me. I 
I feel it. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Put it into your heart. Put it in my heart. All that love. All that light. Give it back to me. You took it from me. Your darkness is overwhelming. But thy light is even stronger. Good and the bad, the yin and the yang. Mm-hmm. It's a battle if you make it so. It isn't a battle if you're not fighting. It is a battle if you're not. I have found that the universe is all about battles that have to be fought. Mm-hmm. And in my universe that I've created, there are battles as there is good there is evil and there will always be battles it has to have battles you have to learn through battles but don't take my love from me it's a battle I'll take it now show him your strength It will be. Mm -hmm. It will be because I said so. It is not yours. It is this human's love. Not for you to take. Don't fight me on this. I have to give it to him. He deserves it. He earned it. He's been a good man. Tell me what happens. I feel darkness lifting. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing the light. It's a battle. And he's fighting. But I'm fighting back. It's just as hard. He says, I can't, I need him. I can't get rid of him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call in Archangel Michael. And I want you to see the strength of Archangel Michael. He's going to remind you of your own strength. I picture Archangel Michael mm-hmm. wielding this sword of light. That's right. But you have your own. And he's sticking it to, mm-hmm. to his neck. Mm-hmm. Saying, let him go. Mm-hmm. Let him go. Let him go. Show him your power. Show him your strength. Archangel Michael, help me. I need your help. He cannot fight your own battles. You fight this battle. Yes, I need help, though. Mm -hmm. He'll be there for you, but he's not going to fight the battle for you. I need help. I need help. Command this man to give you back. Give me back my light. And you can go in there yourself and take it, just like he did with you. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Take my light back. Stretch out your... (sighs) Take my light back. Mm -hmm. Take it all back, it's not his. It's not yours. Help me, Michael. Mm -hmm. Help me, Raphael. All they're going to do is hold him down, you're going to take it. You fight your own battle. You have the strength. It's mine. Mm -hmm. It's mine. I have. I have my light. I just need it to make it stronger. I just need my light to make it stronger. Mm -hmm. I've been in the dark for so long. He 
he's had my light mm -hmm. for so long. I need to make my light stronger and stronger. Now all you have to do is bring that light in through your crown from the universe. Bring that light in now. Yes. Yes. Bring that light through you and down into Gaia. Connect yourself with her soul and feel that light growing within you. Yes. And as it I'm not feeling the tension. Uh huh. Grab that light back now. I'm not feeling the hate. I'm not feeling the anger. Mm -hmm. It's my love. It's my love. It's mine. He cannot have it. It's mine. You were strong, but you failed. As it should be. I have my light. I want to make it bigger. I want to make it grow. It's small. Make it bigger. It's small, so small. Oh, boundless. Boundless light. Mm -hmm. Boundless. See how that light affects Gaia. Oh, Gaia is relishing it. Mm -hmm. She's relishing it more than I am. It's not fair. She says it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not I much. see the beauty. Mm -hmm. I want the beauty. I have to have the beauty. I have the beauty. It's mine. Now let's ask Gaia to help you with that cyst. Please, Gaia. Please. Take it away. I will help. I heard a voice. Mm -hmm. I will help. But it's up to me. Mm -hmm. It's up to me to do it. I will do. I will make my commitment. And Gaia will make a commitment to help me regain my light. I am in touch with Gaia. She's my world. Thank you. Very good. Is there anything you want to tell anyone about what we can do with Gaia? How we can help Gaia even more? Look to the universe. There is only one way. What is going to happen has happened. We just don't realize it. And all you can do is beg for light from the universe to come to you and through you it will help Gaia. You are the conductor. You are the switch. You are the one person that makes it light. And Gaia needs you. And Gaia is sad. But soon soon we'll be happy. Everyone must look to the light of the universe to go through them and through them it will help Gaia and she knows she's not angry she knows it's just a phase like good like evil it's just a phase and we learn from this phase Gaia has learned her lessons too. 
and this is what she needed. Even though it hurts, like we all do. Lessons sometimes are learned the hard way, but to learn. And that makes me even more knowledgeable. Very good. Now, would you be willing to answer some of James' personal questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. His own purpose? Obvious. Learning? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why there's nothing that you have ever learned that is useless. Because I need the knowledge of the simplest things. I need that knowledge. I will make decisions based on that knowledge. So don't ever think that something you learned is useless, that you'll never use it. It's just the aura of what you learn that you take with you. Mm. But you've learned. Mm -hmm. Is he achieving this? Yes, mm -hmm. very well. Does James have a home where he's from? He wants to know who he is. I can't see. I can't see. I see darkness. Mm. I'm trying to see James. Where do you come from? I come from darkness. Mm. And I'm moving towards the light. Who am I? How did I get here? Who asked me? Who am I? I don't see me being another soul. I don't see me being. I see me coming straight from God. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose for James coming into this lifetime? To help Gaia. Mm -hmm. Easy. Why did he choose a family that wasn't very loving? I have to learn. It's all part of learning. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the final quest mm -hmm. to be loved. And how is James doing as far as finding he has, love? He has his bumps. Mm -hmm. He's trying very hard. Now you say he comes from God. God also is looking for a soulmate. Yes. Does he have the same dilemma as God? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now we have connected. We have gotten his love back. Do you feel that he was he will be able to share his love now more freely? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Through knowledge, there's understanding. And through understanding, there's love. Mm -hmm. So soon he'll be able to find a partner who loves him? Yes. Mm -hmm. He will. Through understanding. Good. Well, he wants to know where he finds these women. They will find you. Okay. They have always found you. Mm -hmm. You never had to go out to look. They have always come for you. Maybe not when you wanted it. Maybe not when you needed it. But they will find you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does James have any guides that are working with him? Michael, mm. Gabriel, Raphael, Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. 
He wants to thank them for their help in his life. He's had a very good life. Yes, you've mm-hmm. given me a beautiful life, mm-hmm. free from many of the turmoils that other people go through, free from a lot of the suffering. I've had a wonderful life. Thank you. Thank you for being there. What, what do they say back? Connect with them. It was all for you. It was all for you. It was all for you. We are trying to help you. You have to understand. You have to go through the scenarios. You have to understand it was all for you. Thank you very much. So what is James supposed to be doing now with the rest of his life? He's um, he's retired. He's living comfortably. Enjoy. <laughs> you don't have to do a thing. Light goes through you. Into Gaia. You are helping her. Just enjoy your life. But just like the Creator, he was lonely. Yes. Will he have a partner? Can he enjoy it with someone else? Yep. I know he wants that terribly. I don't know if it's for him. I think you may have to be stronger than that. I think. You have to live as a god, lonely. You have to live as a god. Now there seems to be many gods out there right now that cannot find partners that are living alone. Has it has that been a choice? I don't think so. No. Everyone is always looking for love. Mm -hmm. That's who who we are. Everyone is looking for love. This computer program, this computer cannot function if there wasn't love. Mm -hmm. Love and light is the electricity that runs it. You may not have found it. But you will be content in knowing that you give love and you give light and you create alone. He's questioning the end of his life. He doesn't want it to be with pain. Can this God create his own ending? Yes. Mm -hmm. You will end it when you think it's the end. When you think that your time here is done. That you have finished your work just like my little island. You will leave when you want to. You will leave at your own accord. You will leave at your own choice. You will leave and you will move on to other planets to do your job. It's a humdrum job, but I love doing it. It's the same thing over and over and over, but I don't get bored. It's an adventure. Every world I'm in, it's my new adventure. And I welcome it as an adventure. And I open my arms as an adventure. I love it. I love the adventure I'm in. I love it.
love it. Now he tells me that he has absolutely no gifts of any kind. <laughs> he says he's like a doorknob. He has no Yes, you are. Why has You are a doorknob, James. Why has, why has his door... You have no need. You have absolutely no need. I know you want it so bad. So, so bad, but James, there is no need. You are a god. You don't need things here. You are a god. that he is a creator, why has he created his body to be so intolerant of things that he's eating and drinking now? I have created that myself. Mm. For what purpose? I don't know. I don't know why. Can we find out, please? Let's look for the origin of that intolerance to gluten and to milk. He can help himself with milk. He can see milk, imagine milk, as a glowing light of the universe that enters him to give him light. But something is fighting it. Is it the change? Is it doubt, self-confidence, self-confidence? Let's take a look inside and see if he's created any blockage inside of him. He has. He's created. He's a perfectionist. Uh -huh. So let's we see where this blockage is and what does it look like. It's like a cloud. It's like an aura. Mm -hmm. I have tried to make this universe perfect and it has come down to this life. In this life I am a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I am a oh, perfectionist when it comes to cleanliness, myself, my car, my life. <laughs> you can call me OCD. <laughs> but I have created that myself in this light, in this life. So why is he creating this inside of his body to make him into It's just part of the perfection mm -hmm. of my life. Mm -hmm. So this cloudiness, we can transform this cloudiness into something that will allow this light to go through it. Yes. What can we create this cloud to be? Just realize what it is. Mm -hmm. Just open your eyes. See the light. Mm -hmm. See that I'm creating this myself. Just open your eyes. Hume, there is no need for this. Release it. Release it now. Release it. Just release it. You know who you are. There is no fear. You are God. Gods don't fear. God create. God create. And I have created this. And now I want to end this. Let go. Let go. Let go. Stop trying to hold on to perfection. The world is not perfect. And 
you try to make it perfect. The world will never be perfect. Because that's the way it is. You need variety. You need good. You need bad. It doesn't have to be all good. You just have to know to stay away from the evil. You just have to know to stay away from the darkness. <laughs> stay away from the darkness. You have to know that. And he's realizing that now. That as long as he's a good person, let the other James take care of the darkness. Let them suffer through that. Suffer through the not. Suffer through the not having. Suffer through the without. Let other James, let the other James do that. This James is all about light. It don't take on the responsibility of perfection. Perfection is not good. Variety is good. <sighs> Things have to change. They will always be in change. God is in change. It will always be and it always has been change. I accept change. Don't wallow in comfort. Know that change is an adventure. Know that change is an adventure that you love, that you look forward to, that you need. That it is an adventure. You have to know that. And there will be good times, and there will be bad times. It all can be good times. So, darkness must exist. I just don't have to be in it. That's all. It's simple. It's so simple. Just take yourself out of it. Know who you are. Know that you know that you are the God. And that yes, you're lonely. But that too will change. That too will change. Someday. Will James be able to completely heal his blood pressure? We will work on it. Mm -hmm. He has to work on it. His glaucoma? He has to take life less serious. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he attacks life like a soldier. Mm. Where he must do things in order to be successful at the other end, at the end. Mm -hmm. His not having a father has taught him that he is all alone, at least in this version of James, and that he must do for himself whatever has to be done because no one else 
is going to do it for him because there is no one else to do it for him. Very good. So let's begin working on that glaucoma now. The blood pressure. Oh, yes. The feelings in the arms. The discomfort. I will help. Very good. Can I ask also for these guides to help you? I thank you, my guides. Mm -hmm. My guides. Michael. Gabriel. Raphael. Raphael. Mary Magdalene. Virgin Mary. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. and I'd like Abuela. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have so many of them. I have so many guides. My father. That you have that love back in your heart, send them that love to them. I love you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Very good. And now I'd like for Raphael to continue working on him. <laughs> What's going on in this story? I just went down the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <coughs> oh, I'm tingling. Very good. So I'd like to ask if there's anything else that you would like to ask today. Is there anything that I could have asked that you would like James, to tell us? You're on the right path. Don't sweat it. You're a good man. You're a good person. You have done everything right. You're a soldier, but you have accomplished your mission. Stop it. Take off your shoulders, soldier's uniform, and enjoy life. Just enjoy life. Take off your uniform. You don't have to do it anymore. Just joy. Just joy. Enjoy life. Is there anything else? Are we complete today? Oh, yes. I feel <coughs> like God was able to talk to somebody and tell them how they feel. And it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a conversation that I have having with the universe. Mm -hmm. Would God like to have this conversation again sometime? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You have to. Very good. You are... You are changing. James is going through a big change. And that's why he feels a lot of the things he's feeling. He has to let go of the, sh of the so sh soldier. He has to let go. Mission accomplished. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. I am buzzing. Mm -hmm. I am trembling. <laughs> yes, you have a lot of energy. And I have a hard time coming out. Mm -hmm. Releasing, just release. Mm -hmm. Just release. Just release all that energy. Mm -hmm. I'm there gonna put my million, hand on your shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead. There are a million people around us. Release, just release. There are a million people around us. Yeah. All my creations are watching me. Feel the energy going back to Gaia. Feel yourself connecting more and more. Release. I gotta drop this. I gotta let go of this. Mm -hmm. Let go of this and let's, I have to. let's put some sunlight in your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to ground. Mm -hmm. I have to come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'll come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> 
still trembling my back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Wow, what a trip. <sighs> what a trip. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, do you think you could be hypnotized? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. But it's not hypnosis. I don't call it hypnosis. I call it my deepest meditation. Mm -hmm. I've wonder. touched, I've touched upon this deep meditation before. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, ground myself. Oh, it keeps coming. All the energy is still just coming. I feel there's millions of souls around me. Mm -hmm. Send them your love. It's just the energy they're sending me. Wow. It's not my love that I need. It's the sending me all this love. And my toes are tingling. The bottom of my feet are tingling because of all that energy. It's just being transferred to Gaia. It's my job. And I gotta wake up. I gotta release it. I gotta release this. <laughs> I have to. It's like, I see like aura of light, of energy mm. in my hands. For someone who can't see, you can see now? I feel, uh -huh. it's not so much see. Do you feel the energy? And it's still coming, and I gotta stop. Why? It feels good. Because the session has got to be over, and I'm going to be <laughs> like this all day long. It's got to end. I love you guys, but it's got to stop. Take a deep breath in and just allow it all to... I just got to release everybody, release everything. I got to go back into my cocoon mm -hmm. of what I call Earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a trip. Oh, my God. I expected different. <laughs> I expected for me to be in this thing with voices coming at me, mm. and it's nothing like that. So it's, that's what happens when you come with expectations. It's my inner self mm -hmm. talking to me, mm -hmm. and I'm still vibrating. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop, ground myself. So I'd like for you to repeat after me. From the Lord God of my being. From the good Lord God of my being. I release all the energy. I release all this energy. And send it back to the universe. Send it back to the universe. And I thank you, universe. With light and love. With light and love. Thank and you. And peace. Thank you. And peace. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I stopped shaking. Mm -hmm. I'm still buzzing, but I stopped shaking. Okay. Great. So. What a trip. That's all I can tell you. Oh my God, what a trip. So is this something you want to share with others? Oh, if it can help somebody out there know. That they are God. That they are God. Mm -hmm. They are God. And you have... It's like a tide. It goes in and it goes out. Light comes in and light goes out. It's ebb and it's tide. Everyone has to know this. Mm -hmm. The version is that I thought heaven was this beautiful place somewhere where I actually went and hung out in fairies and angels. Mm -hmm. That's not heaven. Heaven is within you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You did great. So? I just want to hug you. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so tell me why anyone, you came. No, no, no. Listen, I got to say something. It's got to come out. <laughs> anyone out there that has no belief in any of this, Please, why would everyone under hypnosis be saying the same thing? Mm -hmm. Through logic, through common sense. 
you should be able to figure out that there's got to be something if everyone is saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something to this. And I was kind of a not a believer. A skeptic? A skeptic. Let's call it a skeptic. <laughs> well, you were, when we were talking, you were calling God an artificial intelligence. But it's not. <laughs> God is not an artificial intelligence. I thought so. Yeah. Okay. I and I think because that's... everything pointed with the with the we are files and we need codes and the matrix and and everything. I I always thought, oh my God, come on, common sense, logic. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a computer we're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a computer. So how did you feel? You felt God. I felt God. I. You was you were. I God. was God. Put yes. it that way. I yes. was God. And I'm still shaking. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I was God. And I didn't think I could be hypnotized. That was my biggest fear. That was the big thing. Okay. He said, I don't think I could be I'm exactly. so analytical. I don't think I could be I hypnotized. I am an analy analytical. Uh, <laughs> I'm very scientific. Okay? Uh, if it doesn't make sense, it ain't true. All right? <laughs> uh, but. What about now? Oh. This always made sense to me, though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That through logic, common sense, intuition, so many things that you have in you, okay, tells you, wait a second, baby. This is not fake. Something is happening here. Mm -hmm. If everyone is saying the same thing, yeah. I should at least just look up and pay a little attention to what's yes. going on. It's minimum, you should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Please do. And you felt the pain. Yes, I felt I felt the pain. I felt the loneliness. Mm -hmm. I felt the without. Yeah. I felt the void. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I felt all of that. Mm -hmm. I was shaking. I was like leg beater. Okay. Were you cold? No, I was sweating. <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> well, because a lot of people out there will say, "Put a blanket on that man." You know. Oh, no, 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 no. And I, I know you were. I, I wanted to rip everything <laughs> off. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to rip every, everything off because I needed the cold, the chill, okay, kind of to kind of balance it, balance me down, like get down, James. But it wasn't the cold that no, you needed. You just no. it was just energy. It, it was, was just in. energy that was flowing yeah. and flowing, wow. and you feel it and you tremble. And I said, ah, oh, this is just a pack of bull, okay? Not a pack of bull. All right, big skeptic. <laughs> oh, no skeptic, no more. She's the real deal, mm -hmm. and I love her for it. I w I love you for it. I really do. Oh. I really love you for what you've done for me. Thank you. Because I have I understand. You're a believer. I'm a believer. I believe. But most importantly, most importantly, the lives that I made. I'm not alone. I'm with my creations, and I love my creations. It's almost the way I think of it, and I keep have to keep thinking of it like that. So I'm, I'm alone in a sense because I, I felt the loneliness God yes. felt. I felt it. But he also said it has to it has to go through loneliness for there to be light. Right. Even God has to go through this. It's okay? amazing. It's, it's beautiful. not you or me. Mm -hmm. Even God has to go through loneliness yes. to see the light. Yeah. He is learning. He is really learning. Through us. Yes, we are the files. So when you came here, you felt you didn't have love. How do you feel now? I am loved enormously by God. He He will give everything up for me. Okay? I didn't have my tissue with my... <laughs> I'm still trembling, guys. And this is not fake. I'm still like this. <laughs> like a right? I'm still I'm still shaking. Yes. All right? Yes. This is not a fake. This is all real. And sometime in your lifetime, you should open your mind, okay? Open your soul, mm -hmm. okay? And just look into it a little. You will find gratification. You will mm -hmm. find love. You will find so many beautiful things. I found beautiful planets. I found a beautiful island. Your okay? island baby. That's, that's my your baby. Your baby. That's my baby, and I take care of her, and I... That's amazing. I ginger her, you know what I'm saying? I feed, bottle feed her, basically, okay? Every blade of grass. Every single, well, you just reminded me of, I was planting every single blade of grass. So when you look out now at nature, 
Oh, I always love nature. I am a nature lover. I am an animal lover. And so you can't, you have to appreciate the fact that every single blade of grass has been created for the pleasure. Individually. Individually, yeah. Okay. Don't make that mistake. Individually, every single atom has been made specifically, okay, mm -hmm. for you. All right? Isn't for you, for us. Yeah. Okay? And to know that there's someone up there loving you with so much love that they can't see you see you, to see you suffer to be in the dark or whatever that will be willing to help you mm -hmm. it's it's so beautiful for me it was beautiful wow that's great thank you so I much i love you so much really i love you so much for this uh so, but you know that yeah you know that you know you're the conduit you know that <laughs> Exactly. Right through, right through. Right, you, you know you're the conduit. <laughs> that's my job. That, that's your job, That's exactly. my job, and I love it. Yeah, you love it, exactly. That's like you're the creator of our uh, Yes. And uh, so if you would like a session with me, go to albawyman.com. Go to the page that says Out of Town. Go to sign up for my newsletter. And about once a month, I send out a newsletter telling people where I'm going to be. <laughs> Click on the link when you get that newsletter and... Um, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching this. This was an amazing session. You won't regret it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and give me that again. again. Mm. Thank you, Alba. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. Great, huh?